Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com and always check the description box. I'm probably going to have a live, there will be a link in there for that or, uh, you know, having my writing over at Substack, Gumroad Courses, Patreon, all the stuff. I got, I got lots of projects going on, so <laughs> always check that out morning affirmations all right so this is basically saying take charge of your manifestations take charge of what take charge of change <laughs> you know of whatever you don't like but not in a forceful way i know that gets a little tricky but the morning affirmations affirmations don't work at all unless you feel it unless you really believe it if you're just talking it's not gonna work <laughs> right? say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation now you could do the 369 manifestation it's the tesla uh, manifestation technique where at some point during the day you write out your manifestation three times you read it out loud three times then later in the day you write it out six times you read it out loud six times and then nine times read it out loud nine times the idea though it's not gonna work okay if <laughs> if you are not feeling it and believing it that that's the thing that you have to put into it now the other thing when we're manifesting that people don't like to seem to want to accept is that if you're trying to manifest a bunch of money it can seem like all of a sudden there's more bills and people go this stuff doesn't work it's working great it's trying to show you that you shop too much and if you shop too much what are you what is that what, what's the retail therapy for it's trying to help you with your money in that way okay so be aware <laughs> and when you get more bills yes you could start to get into that space of more stress around money but if you start understanding i've had moments like this shoot covid i ended up with way too many sweaters and way too many pairs of boots for what <laughs> I work from home. I hardly ever even go anywhere, you know, but it was trying to compensate for something. I, I was on edge and I couldn't be near my family. You know, it wasn't safe to travel to them. It was a lot, you know, so we have to look at that, but be aware if you're, let's say you're trying to manifest love, 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 love. And then you get a partner, maybe an ex comes back with all their same nonsense. Okay. <laughs> all their same BS. They bring it back and you don't change it's bringing it back to show you like are you gonna fall for this again or maybe get a similar type coming in maybe you're seeing or realizing that you settle for way less than you deserve why is that because everyone else wants to make it seem like it's a good thing to be in a partnership it's only good if it's pure vroom vroom i hope that picks up on the mic there's like a monster truck outside <laughs> I don't know what it is, but anyway, we mean it, darn it. <laughs> so, so just remember that when you're going through your manifestations, there could be like some of the gunk and some of the stuff that needs to be cleared up. And it's usually psychological gunk. Check with an expert. I'm no expert on that, but something's going to be coming up for you to heal and clear away to make room for the thing that you want. Got it? Cool. Comment down below. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there. <laughs> I'm sending you all so much love and take care.